terraced roof down here, which is covering our sort of patio area. Uh, first of all, back to PowerCAD to bring over the items we need. I've cleaned up the drawing, hidden some uh, some objects just to make things a little bit simpler. So we'll pick up the points we need from PowerCAD, and the pad will take over the whole section. Copy and take that into 3D. I've put a layer on there called Terrace Roof and we'll paste onto that just to keep things nice and neat. Okay, I'm going to close down some, some layers here so we've got some clarity to what we're, we're working with. Leave that simple roof plan and bring up our roof settings. Now, Terrace roof is already in there. We're using a 2 plus 2 method to make the roof. Look at the geometry. We're using a fixed method here. Because the width of that roof compared to that roof is different, we can't actually use a, a straight angle connection. So using a, a fixed height will allow us to achieve that. 2 plus 2, we actually use four points to construct the roof, but the roof can then be constructed at literally any angle. Same methodology again, working in a, a clockwise sense. We first point, second point, and the third point will mark the junction there, and the first, fourth point, the point there. If we have a look at what we've made, it's a, a fairly simple sloping roof. And if we go back and we make a second, click on the roof floater, brings the tool active. One, two, three. Four, and that roof is perfectly joined together. And you can probably sense from that tool that you can actually build any irregular shaped roof you actually want to. It doesn't have to be uh, uh, at right angles. Let's just change the colour of that so we see what's going on a bit better. And you can see there's our roof construction. Okay, let's bring back, close that down, bring back. Our original main building. We've got one more roof to construct, which is our garage roof. The plan here was actually bought over originally. For this, we're going to use a four plus two, not auto in this this time, but four plus two again. We're going to work fixed, but we could work by, by gradient. 4 plus 2 allows us to have offset and, in fact, the regular apexes. But this one happens to be regular. I'm going to click one point, two points, three points. And we can actually use any line that connects a point. It doesn't have to be the perimeter line. And then the fifth point sets our apex. And the sixth point confirms that apex. I'll close that down. And you can see we've constructed here a uh, garage roof. It happens to be regular, but it could have been irregular using the 4 plus 2. And that finishes off the roofing sections. And I think you'll hopefully agree that's a pretty rapid way of constructing roofs.